Hey, thanks for visiting us this morning at homepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marsons with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Starting out mostly clear skies. There's a beautiful moon out there this morning. And your temperature is a little bit warmer, but still comfortable as most of us in the low to mid 60s to start out the day here. Satellite and radar across the region uh, continues to show some active weather around us. But uh, we are pretty quiet here in the Arklatex as high pressure uh, continues to bring that sinking air. And also a lot of dry air still in place. So no rainfall today. We'll continue to see those mostly sunny skies across the region. So your temperatures out there this morning, if you're leaving before sunrise, should be in the 50s and 60s in most areas. You see not as many 50s on the map this morning, but uh, it is going to be another warm day for us. Wind speeds will turn to the southwest. Anytime we get a southwest wind like that, uh, that typically drives our temperatures up pretty high. So I do have most of us in the mid to upper 80s today, and the wind will be fairly light, only about 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the day. So you see by lunchtime, we'll be in the 80s in most locations, topping out in the uh, mid to upper 80s. I do have Shreveport at 87, Texarkana about 86 degrees this afternoon. I uh, could see Natchitoches into the upper 80s as well. So we're starting to turn that corner where it goes from warm to just downright hot. But uh, you can see the overall weather pattern here. We do have the big ridge of high pressure that is still set up uh, across the desert southwest and also portions of Texas. So uh, what that is doing is just kind of keeping the storms off to the north of us. And you can see uh, not much happening underneath that ridge, which is typical when you get the sinking air like that. And uh, that will be our weather pattern for the rest of the week. But we do have our next disturbance. You see making its way onto the California coastline there. That will bring that chance of storms as we go through the weekend. So future cast, not a lot to see here as far as your uh, Wednesday and into your Thursday. We'll just continue to call it uh, mostly sunny across the region here for the next two days, probably on Friday as well. Widening out the view uh, just to show you the storms that will roll in on Saturday. Uh, expecting those storms will pop up in central Texas again Saturday afternoon and then come rolling towards the Arkletex. So we may see some rain east Texas, Oklahoma Saturday evening, but for most of us this will be an overnight uh, thunderstorm threat for us and we are still in the storm prediction center's day four outlook so when that outlook is issued tomorrow that will give it the risk categories i would expect we'll see a slight risk uh, or that yellow area across much of the arklatex here meeting scattered severe storms possible be on the lookout for mainly high wind uh, but potentially could be some large hail and also a few tornadoes so pretty much everything on the board here as far as severe weather but you see the rain makes its way out pretty quickly sunday morning i think we'll turn in a pretty nice sunday across the region with highs in the 50 or in the mid 80s once again with uh, overnight lows probably in the upper 60s and low 70s this weekend. Uh, still looking at a corridor of some decent rainfall totals there, maybe one to two inches along and north of Interstate 30. Keep in mind that goes through Tuesday. There is some additional rain on the way Monday into Tuesday. So uh, again, your weekend rain totals. I'm not too worried about any flash flooding concerns, but that will definitely keep the lakes and rivers running high, especially if we see an inch or two of rain across the northern Arkletex. That means that water has to drain out uh, through all of our lakes and rivers. But you see your high temperatures uh, for the remainder of the week. Could be any of the upper 80s tomorrow and then just staying in the 80s even with the rain this weekend and scattered storm chances will continue early next week.